Hello, and welcome to another episode of Learning Small Town Business. Glad to have you with us today. But today, I want to talk to you about something that's really important, but it is grossly over overstated or overtaught, and that is customer service. Customer service is critical to your business, and I'm going to give you a small customer service seminar like no other seminar you've probably heard on customer service before. Because my position is customer service has nothing whatsoever to do with the customer. And I know I've been to a thousand seminars probably as you have if you're a business owner. And what's the message that's always given? Uh, knock your socks off service. Uh, um, oh gosh. Uh, uh, exceed the customer's expectations. All of those things are great, but if you exceed the customer's expectations once, how are you going to do that the next time and the time after that and the time after that? That's what we want to talk about because customer service really doesn't have anything to do with the customer, but it has everything to do with the customer with or with the business itself. Now, when I give customer uh, service seminars, I always ask the attendees for a show of hands, who has the best customer service in this room? And usually uh, only one or two hands go up, almost no hands go up. And I'm wondering to myself, why don't, why doesn't everyone raise their hand? Doesn't everyone think they provide good service in their business? Well, apparently not. And the problem is, there's no real definition of customer service across the board. And that's what we want to talk about today, because customer service has everything to do with what happens inside your four walls and very little to do with what happens on the outside of your four walls. So let's let's dive into this uh, customer service and I will explain to you what I mean when I talk about customer service doesn't have anything to do with the customer. Now, when I ask the attendees that question, show of hands or not, somebody in that room had the best customer service in that room, and somebody in that room had the worst customer service in that room. So what we have, we have a definition of good and bad. So let's explore that. Another question that I ask, I'll pick someone from the audience and I will ask them, if they really applied themselves, could they provide service so bad that a customer would never enter the store again? And <laughs> sheepishly, they probably say, well, maybe, I don't know. But... So anyway, on the other side, I'll ask another attendee, could you provide service so good that it would be cost prohibitive? In other words, uh, pick up a uh, pick up your customers in a limo and bring them down or a plane ride to your store or something like that something impossible something they couldn't possibly provide because it would be too expensive what we have here is two extremes we've got bad customer service and we've got good customer service so somewhere in the middle is our definition of customer service of what it is exactly my definition of customer service is good customer service is service you can provide day in and day out and still be profitable and still be profitable is the uh the, the key words here because we've got to be profitable in order to keep the doors open so how do we do that how do we provide how do we how do we reach this this service level that we're that we're looking for so desperately. Well, one thing is, the, the biggest problem is, let's go back to one of the things that you hear in customer service seminars all the time. Exceed the customer's expectations. Therein lies a danger trap for the small business. If you're gonna let your customer decide the level of customer service they're gonna get, you are on an uphill climb. What you have to do is define the service the customer is going to get in your business and promote that to your customer through advertising and marketing. 
So in other words, your advertising message will be, what can I do for you? What can you expect when you walk in the doors of my business? What am I going to do for you? In my advertising, I'm going to show the store. I may talk about the employees. If you've got a website, uh, you introduce the employees to uh, the potential customer. If you have YouTube videos, uh, have the, uh, you know, if you have a customer or uh, if you have employees that aren't afraid of being on camera, uh, they can talk about how great the business is, how much I'm going to take care of you, what I'm going to do for you when you come in the store and spell out in your advertising what the customer is to expect. Let's look at McDonald's, McDonald's restaurants. Where else do you walk in, order your food, pay for it before you get it? go to your table, uh, take it yourself, serve yourself, and clean up after yourself. What restaurant in their right mind would think that would work? Well, McDonald's works because they trained us how to use their service because that's the best service they can deliver day in and day out and still be profitable. They can't have waiter, waiters and waitresses. They can't have tablecloths and china and silverware and all of the uh, amenities that a normal restaurant has. So when you go in there, they have trained us. Here's what you get. You get the Big Mac and the fries and the shake and whatever. And, uh, you know, it's a great fast food meal, depending on your <laughs> depending on your opinion of fast food, I guess. But they trained us how to use their service. And that's what customer service is. Good customer service begins with your marketing and advertising message to the customer. You've got to impress on them what's going to happen to them when they walk in your store. What kind of service should they expect? Create the expe expectation for them. Don't allow your customer to create their own expectation of what they're going to find when they come into your store. It's imperative that that good customer service begins in your four walls with management. Management decides what are we going to do? How are we going to do it? And promote that in the advertising and marketing message and then drill that down to the employees. So the employees are trained on what the advertising and marketing message says and deliver that service. Do that and you'll have a happy customer and your business will grow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.